Hey, post-production people, I'm Nick Sanders. Welcome to Video Deconstructed. We've all seen the colored border around a person in the movie opens and music videos, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to do it right in Premiere Pro. This effect is being created by using two masks. One for the image we want the border around. So we're gonna have one mask for this picture in this example. And then we're gonna have another mask on a different video layer. In this case, it's this, I've called it yellow. It's the color of the border that's gonna go around whoever or whatever you're going to put a border on. So to start off with, I'm gonna just clear out this timeline delete all that. If I drag out my clip all the way, you're going to see he does a full pitch. And basically what you want to do is whatever clip you're using, choose the point where you want to freeze frame. So let's say I want to freeze right here. You right click on your clip and say add hold frame and you'll see a cut in the clip. And then from that point on you have a freeze frame. All right, so we want to put a mask around him so we can hide everything behind him. And to do that, you're going to select the freeze frame, go to the first frame, leave your play line there. And then if you hold Shift 5 on the keyboard or go up here to where it says Effects Controls, under the Opacity section, you're going to have three mask options, an oval, or ellipse as they call it, a uh, four point polygon mask, and then the free draw bezier or pin tool. And we're gonna use that to draw around the sky. So what you're gonna wanna do is in the program monitor, if your zoom level says fit, you're gonna wanna probably set that to maybe try 150%. Go to the bottom of the top, set it to what works for your image. You're gonna wanna start the mask in the gray area. So you're gonna wanna, in my case, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here. As soon as I click on this tool, a mask has been started over here, but I haven't clicked anywhere to start creating it. I'm gonna click in the gray area, just one click, and it'll start the first point. And as soon as I click the next point, then you're beginning to draw the mask. If you've never used the pen tool before, it's pretty tricky and you're gonna need to just practice with it to get good at it. In a lot of cases, you, for this particular effect, your mask doesn't have to be that perfect. I'm gonna speed up this section and we'll take a look at it when I'm done. Okay, so now when I click the final point here, that closed the path and you can see there's this like solid line and then a dashed line. That dashed line is showing the mask feather. So if you go over here under the effects control in this section where it says mask now, it defaults to the feather being set at a, a, an amount of 10 and if I turn that up you can see it adjusts that uh, dotted line there. I'm gonna leave mine set to zero. You can choose whether you want yours higher or lower based on the look you're going for. Uh, back here in the program I'm gonna reset my zoom level to fit and so you can see I've completely outlined our picture and now the background has disappeared. Now I want to add my animated background. And if you don't have anything, you can go online and search for free animated background. You'll find all kinds of options there. And I'm gonna go over to my project panel. I've got this uh, clip of kind of like fireworks that I'm gonna set down here on video track one. So we got uh, little fireworks happening behind him and I can select the clip. I've got the timeline at the end of this clip, and if I just want to trim it right there and get rid of everything else, use the shortcut Command K or Control K on a PC, Command K on the Mac. I can just delete this extra bit of video if I don't want that there. And now what I want to do is add the color border that's going to go around our baseball player. Now that I have the background set up on video track one, I'm gonna select our freeze frame of the baseball player and zoom in on him so that when we go to the freeze frame, he's punched in a little bit. And you can select the clip, Shift-5 will open up your effects control panel. And then right here under motion, this is the same panel you were in before where the mask got created. I can take the scale and zoom him in however far you wanna go. If you click on 
the word motion, you can now go over here and drag him to place him wherever you want. You can also just drag the position X and Y to place him wherever you need to go. So let's say uh, I want him right here. I want it to slightly zoom in and move a little bit over the period of this freeze frame. Leave your timeline at the very front of the clip. Go back up to your effects control panel and under the motion, click on the keyframes for scale and position. Drag your timeline down here to the final frame of the freeze frame. Zoom in however much you want to zoom in. And then again, if you that automatically created a keyframe here at the very end of that freeze frame. Now you can either drag your freeze frame here or you can again select motion and just kind of place the freeze frame where you want it. I'm going to play that through. Let's say that's going a little too far. Make sure you put the play line back at the last frame otherwise you will create more keyframes that you probably don't want. I can just drag it back a little bit. You can barely see right here it's showing you the direction and how far it's moved so if I wanted to move it shorter shorter distance that feels a little bit better and now I want to create my border that's going to go around the picture click on your project panel up here in the left I've already created one from before but I'll create a new one so if you right click in this gray area you can't do it on top of one of your clips or your sequence it won't work Find the gray area below and say new item color mat. All of these defaults are probably going to be what you want. It's defaulting to what your timeline is. I'm going to hit OK. And what I did was I, I wanted to kind of match the uh, sparks going on back here. So right here you have a color picker. You can click on that and go over here and that gets me in the ballpark um, or you can just eyeball it and kind of get what color you're looking for when I hit OK you can name it I'll call this yellow 2 just so I know it's the new one hit OK that's going to show up over here in your project panel and then I'm going to drag that down and put that underneath of the freeze frame completely hiding the fireworks animated background I'm going to trim this color mat so that's the same length as our freeze frame. Another way you can do that put your play line at the point where you want to trim and if your video track is selected here on the left hand side in the track toggle area you can tap the W key and that will trim your clip to where the play line is. Now what I want to do is I want to copy the mask that is on our freeze frame and paste it, the mask plus the movement of the mask, and paste it onto our color mat. So select the freeze frame, hold down Command C to copy or Control C on the PC. Select your color mat that's below and hold down for a Mac Command Option V or PC would be Control Alt V. That will bring up the Paste Attributes window. We want to paste the motion and the opacity. The opacity is where the mask is. Hit OK. And we got our background. Now we can see the fireworks again, but we don't have our border yet. And to do that, you're going to want to select your color mat. Hit the shortcut key Shift F5 or effects control panel you can see that it's pasted in the keyframes that were on the freeze frame and this is the mask and it's exactly the same as it was on our freeze frame to be able to create a border you're gonna to want to turn up the mask expansion and as you turn that up there's your border and you can make it as big as you want. So the other thing you could do too is if you turn up this mask feather, you can get a glow if you want that kind of a look. Now the last piece that I had in the example was the text and I'm going to put that on video track 2 which will allow me to put the text behind the player and the border. I'm going to get the text tool which is the T key is the shortcut. This is this guy over here, the type tool. When you tap in the program monitor, you'll get a window where you can type in your text. Now, underneath of the text, you've got your motion here, and 
you can see right now the text is on top of our picture. That's because when I clicked in the program monitor, the text f defaulted to this video track 5. So I need to drag that down here to video track 2. And now you can see the text is behind our player. And I'm going to click my play line here at the end and command K or control K on the PC. So I can delete this excess text. And now you can animate it by selecting your text. In this case, I would move forward about five frames, and then go up to your motion, and I'm just gonna drag the X and Y. So we'll have it where it's almost completely revealed. Set a position keyframe there. Then when I go back to the first frame, and I slide the X parameter to the left, we can hide most of the word behind him. If you go a little too far, it'll pop out the other side. And this will just give it a, a dramatic slide in effect. And then I just want it to keep sliding slowly. So I'm gonna go to the last frame and I've got my 2K frames here at the front. I'm gonna go back to my X position and just slide it a little bit over to the right and see what that looks like. And you can kind of play with that until you get it to, to how you want it to look. Thanks for watching, and of course, click the subscribe button, hit the bell, click the thumbs up, thumbs down, start clicking on everything below the video for the best results. Save it, share it, show it to your grandchildren, all that good stuff.